I'm the lead teacher of innovation and teaching and learning at Shaftesbury School, based in Dorset in the UK. There's been a lot of interest in our ECOP project, which stands for Experimental Class of Tomorrow. And this is based on kind of three years of my own research and a need to really teach students about sustainability and the environment. At the moment, there's a paucity of kind of um, research, particularly in school and academic level, that looks at this within the curriculum. It's, it's in the geography curriculum in GCSE and at Key Stage 3, and it's kind of in the science, but it's not explicit enough. And I just wanted to create a class through the STEAM disciplines, so the science, technology, um, engineering, art and maths, that really focuses on the big issues that are, we're worried about on the planet. So the experimental class, uh, made up of 28 STEAM ambassadors, who I've offered out and they, they've, kind of, they've, they've volunteered to be part of it. And essentially we're going to look at five major problems identified by a guy called Mike Berner-Lee in No Planet B, which is a fantastic book. So when I started looking at the texts within schools that students have access to, it's very traditional. Um, and it made me think maybe we should start thinking about exposing students to you know, writers like Naomi Klein, um, Yoha no Harari, we've got Jared Diamond. Amazing texts that have been created to try and challenge people's perceptions of how we operate on our planet. So the good news is there's tons and tons of resources out there teachers and educators ca can tap into. One of the biggest inspirations for this project was um, an IKEA sort of secret laboratory that they have, which is called Space 10. Check them out. I think they're based in Copenhagen, and they're really looking at like prototypes of how we're going to eat in the future. So will we you know, get our protein from mealworm burgers, and how can we use spirulina bioreactors and hydroponics and aquaponics, and all these amazing growing mechanisms to basically feed growing populations and solve some of the issues we've got from overcrowding and lack of homes, in, particularly in sort of um, less developed countries. So it's a really interesting starting point and it formed the basis for the inspiration.